I might need to think by... Let's blink. Alright, we're in B8. Yes, that worked. Oh, nice. Excellent. Uh, TP A1. Mia, hello. Saw that out. Ricardo, hello. Shut up and sit down. Chaucer's sure, Knight, welcome along if you're there. Oh wow, look where I spawned. Damn. It's not a usual spot to uh, land. Is there an island right smack in the middle? There is. Uh, back at work after a week of COVID. Oh dear. COVID of all things. Um, did you have a, uh, a rough COVID or did you have a, uh, a not so bad COVID? As this, people tend to have different reactions to it by the sounds of it. Alright, it spawned nicely. None of the quests are working. That's alright. But the fact that we've got that grid, that's fantastic. And music is a little loud. That should be fine. Streaming mix rather than ambient mix. There we go. A bit of background for me, and we're going south. South, south, south is that way. Ah, it wasn't so bad. Your wife had harder kids. Did not even give a budge. Yeah, right. Um, so far, we've managed to miss it. Our schools had a few cases. Uh, actually, one just recently. And they want the the kids to get uh, rat tested, as they're called here. But um, yeah, thankfully we've skipped most of it. I still work from home, mind you, so it's uh, definitely a thing. All right, A two, fantastic. All right, so oh, I should probably get to an island, pop a bed down. So basically, all I'm doing at the moment is this is a map file from somebody who's been commenting on some videos asking for help. So I've got a hold of their map file and I'm trying to work out what's gone wrong. One of the things that they're trying to get is they want um, uh, whales and squids don't seem to be spawning. So I've mucked with the code a bit and we're about to find out whether I actually successfully did it or not. Uh, desktop, I want the text file which has all my Atlas stuff in it. Does that have any hide? Doesn't look like it does. Right. I overload myself with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, that looks good. Add experience. Get a few levels. Primitive construction. Mercantile. Uh, extra time to play Atlas. Yeah, fair enough. I was actually playing a little bit of uh, Stranded Deep earlier today. Someone I haven't quite really been able to get into. But, it seems like an alright game. Mm, Smithy needs stone and flint. Hmm. Really? I have to add more items to my give everything command. Smithy. And can I make a bed? I can. Cool.
Okay. Uh, what was the command? Enable spectator, I think it is. Doesn't really help though. Um, hmm. I wanted to be able to see the ocean clearly. I wonder how you do that. That's me. Show my admin manager. Let's have a look what we got. Cam zoom in, clean marker logs. And a complete quest, destroy actors. I don't want to destroy anything. Detach character? Well, it's potential, but probably not it. Um, hmm. Enemy invisible. Well, that's not the one I'm looking for. Force team, GCM, get chat. Unless Ghost does it, I don't see why Ghost would do it. It's not going to be Give Fog of War. GM buff. Don't know why that would do it. Hmm. Let me log replication, make admin. Open map. Not sure what that is. Report, save world, script command, save chat, set god mode. Maybe. It's a boolean, so it could just go set god mode true. I don't know why that would help with the vision underwater, mind you. Spawn, 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 SPI. Teleport. Could try teleporting to an actor location. Maybe that'll find the squid. Visualize world. What does visualize world do? Visualize. Uh. I just execute it from there. Execute. No. Oh, whoa. Fast. If I could give myself a, a way to see underwater, and you sometimes get it every now and then when you're on your ship on climbing on the ladders, all of a sudden you can just see everything under the water. If I could somehow get that, it would help. Island over there. Ah, broadcast that's your experience. What were some of the things that I was looking at? Could try the Give God mode. Set God mode true. No, that didn't do anything. I was hoping that if I came under the ground there as well, it would actually do the trick, but it does not. Does the submarine have um, clear vision? 
I know when you go down into the deep sea trench you get clear vision. There's actually been no fish at all, actually. There's no fish, there's no sharks, there's nothing. So, yeah, that's not working. Disable spectator. Hmm. Now I'm fluting. Mm. Hmm. Now my game's doing very weird stuff. Ghost. No. Ah, uh, you think it does when you go into third person mode. Well that was I thought that's what spectator mode was. Logging out and logging back in. That seems to have uh, done the trick, although I'm still flying apparently. Alright. Give me that stuff. What do I need? Make another bed. Ghost. That doesn't seem to do anything, right? No, it doesn't work properly. Hmm. So, enemy invisible. True. Can't remember if I actually turned infinite stats on. We've got fish, there's a manta. Okay, so while I was in spectator mode, it didn't seem to want to spawn the, uh, the fish in, which is interesting. Hmm. It's got to be better debugging tools and all this stuff, all right? That one. Give all the engrams. We've given all the power stones. So now we uh, look up the other thing. Uh, guides. Not the dinghy, sails, decks, but you could spawn. Oh, there we go. This is doing weird things to my uh, thing, isn't it? I'm guessing I spawned the uh, submarine into the ground and now I can't do a bloody thing. Ah. Oh no, it's Charlie, he just got COVID. Well, that's no good. You too. Someone else has just basically gotten over it. 
board the submarine. Cannot use explore the depth. Why not? It's fine. We'll get out into deeper water. You do that again. Yeah, that's really buggy. I'm guessing it's because it's saying I can't use the explore the depths. It's probably because the um, I don't know if we can hear the uh, the quest system is just completely broken, right? Well, that's not going to help. I need to be able to turn the vision on so I can bloody see. And then, yeah, yeah. What is the uh, teleport? Teleport. Show me where it is. We go down to teleport. Teleport player to me. Teleport to actor location, but I need to load the actor name. Content Atlas Creatures. Ah, uh, you never got the submarine. I have had it before in the single player when I actually played it properly, uh, but not not this time on PVE yet. Getting close though. That might be the Kraken. Uh, giant. Why is giant snake or oh, squid there? Oh, I suppose it's just squid, isn't it? Squid. So you end up having the character BP, unless it's that. I wouldn't have thought so. Teleport to actor location, put the string in there. Squid. No, nope, doesn't like that. Let's try that. No. Yeah. No. Swimming it is. Let's have a quick look. What I, did I actually even set it to? So this is the map that I'm actually working with. Uh, we are in the desert region. And it is the desert template that determines... They have a 100% chance to spawn with a maximum desired of four squids. So there should be four in the grid. Maybe I should just boost that number up and just like put 20 squids in or something. Make them really easy to find. Skills. And it is one of these ones. Advanced water swimming. I guess that was a bit faster. Still can see actual creatures and stuff down here now. Oh, actually, I know another way to get around fast. We go back to Steam. Tamed creatures. Oh, this hasn't been updated. Okay. Should be able to still utilize that. Dolphin doesn't work. No, well, if I run across a dolphin, I'll have to tame it.
Why wouldn't it be called a dolphin? That's actually really quite silly, actually. Creatures. Dolphin. Dolphin character BP. Dolphin character BP. Underscore C. I don't know why I'd have to put cheat in front of it. Dolphins aren't working either. That's a bit weird. Jellyfish. Marlin. I haven't actually seen any sharks yet, mind you. I wonder if maybe the creatures are still spawning in. Maybe that's what's going wrong. You, I think. Gosh, all this just to see if you can find a bloody whale. Seems ridiculous. Oh well, a um, a squid. Mind you, that's the other thing we actually have to do. I have to go into the polar region and see if the uh, the whale spawning code is actually working over there too. Hey, no dolphins either. No dolphins, no sharks. Something seems a little bit off with it. Uh, it should just add different types of sharks depending on the region in. Oh yeah, yeah, it'd be nice to have different kind of sharks. Have a nice bit of variety of all the types of creatures, really. But that being said, um, I want them to finish it first. They've said that there's only one new major feature left to go into the game. Um, which I assume is not the industrial content that they actually talked about. Uh, they, I think the the last feature, the more major feature that they were talking about putting in the game would have to be the um, the blueprint uh, making, and so you're able to combine blueprints to craft a new blueprint. We haven't actually seen that get into the game yet. But yeah, I think that may be the last main piece of content. I have to wait for the Q&A. I put them a question up, which was basically, I want them to list all the new features that they're planning on adding in the game before they get into fixing it. But um, I haven't actually seen whether the uh, Q&A has happened yet or not. Silly. Hmm. Jellyfish. Hey, there's a shack. Nice. Dolphin. Yeah. Force team. I'm gonna turn your level four. All right. <laughs> Can I put levels into speed? Of course not. Is 
the shark. Uh, green ones, you'll get a blue... Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work, but they were talking about being able to selectively increase certain stats on um, blueprints. So, I'll be very interested to see what they end up coming up with. Shark... Let's go with do. I should check where I am on the map. Make sure I don't uh, go into a boundary here. Plenty of bloody room. Wow. Oh, that's not good. Wow. Well, that's one way to see everything. Go far enough under the map and you can see it all. There you go. Uh, GFI Spyglass. So there's sperm whales in the map. Uh, set time of day. Let's go midday again. See, so yeah, there's a blue whale there. But there's nothing there that looks like a squid. Schooner of the Damned, Brig of the Damned. Oh, right, I'm only seeing part of the map. It's really hard to tell whether I'm near a boundary or not. Actually, I'm not very far moving at all. Okay, well, that's handy to know. Is that an island? No, I appear to be moving south by the looks of that. Yes, I am. Alright, let's just keep going south. Sunken treasure. Looking good for the old squid spawns. up on squids. I have to work out why that's not working. Uh, so now we want B1. TPB1. Ah.
this one will be a bit easier because whales at the very least you find them on the surface as long as the game doesn't crash Ooh, is that a trade wind? It's an image of a trade wind. The fog of war doesn't work in single player very nicely anymore. It's kind of annoying. I wonder if that's actually just the ship path. Alright. Time of day, and we want. Let's go with Slay Mo 5. Time of day, nice. So this should be the polar region, although I don't appear to be getting cold, which is interesting. It says wilderness, it doesn't say polar. I mean that'll do it if it's uh, if it doesn't have the correct um, assignments it's not gonna work and the fact that there's trade winds running through here means I've probably got crap from the uh, single player which is actually interfering with all this which means I probably need to set up as a server and test it there instead Gonna be an absolute pain to do. But I guess I should do it. Oh, there we go. Bingo. Yeah, that's a monstrous sperm whale. Excellent. Alright, so the, well, I know now that the whales work. Uh, assuming that the squids have the same code, they should work. Uh, next, I need to check the tundra. Uh, tundra is the middle grid. B2. Still flying. Oh yeah, nice. Cool. So again, we're looking for whales, but these ones this time will be the uh, the giant blue whales. What's this say? It still says wilderness. Not meant to say wilderness. It's meant to say whatever the tundra is. Open water tundra or whatever. The other one was meant to be open water polar or something. I have to check why that is happening as well. If only you could search for whales this quickly on official. We're so elusive with everybody killing them.
I uh, just got jumped at Saddlewhite Dijon Rust. Oh, no good. <laughs> Yeah, I tried a, a modded PvP server not that long ago. Uh, the first wipe was actually pretty good. It's on a, a weekly wipe. Found a nice quiet spot where I was able to uh, do some stuff, but I didn't really run into anybody. Um, but yeah, the next time, one of the the more experienced people just kept wiping everybody's bases out. Being a times three modded server, it was uh, the PvP happened very quick, and yeah, I got offline and it was just. Couldn't keep my stuff down. And I'm not seeing any whale spawns at all. That's the edge of the map again. Need monstrous blue whales in the tundra. Yeah, I had my go to monuments that I like to park near, but, um, the first time it actually worked out really well and then the next time everybody else decided that that was the place they wanted to live too. And so yeah, I guess you can be a bit hit and miss. These are all PvE islands, so that's Power Stone Island. And that. I thought I saw some Power Stone stuff on there too. But yeah, I'm not seeing the uh, whales. Well, there's the first ship of the dam spawned I've seen. Ooh, was that something just then? Or is my eyes tricking me? No, my eyes tricking me. Yeah, so the uh, the tundra biome, there's no overrides on the actual grid itself. But then when we have a look at the server template for tundra, I grabbed all this detail from official. NPCs to spawn is the gentle whale sea monster. It's spawning at minus 700, which is actually quite a lot. Hopefully that's not too much. Ooh, I wonder if that's the problem. Is the Z offset of minus 700, did that cause it to spawn under the map? There's only four of them. Now, let's just go nuts with this. Z axis of 200. NPC to spawn, generate class, gentle whale, sea monster. Spawn offset at minus 200 in the middle. Percentage chance, one. Is it meant to be one or a hundred? I assume it should be just be a one for a hundred percent. Because that would be terrible if it's only a one percent chance to spawn. Uh, I'm pretty sure I copied this from the original. So let's just check that. Server grid. We find gentle, gentle whale. Spawn minus seven hundred percentage chance one with an entry weight of fifteen and an entry weight of point five. I wonder what entry weight represents. This one doesn't have an entry weight. Hmm. 
And uh, tried to me and my brother went over to the snow to kill some yetis and a whale destroyed our boat. Yeah, well, that is exactly where the whales are. So it's the polar regions has the mean whales, which is the uh, monstrous sperm whales. And the tundra has the gentle whales, which is the monstrous blue whales. Um, so the blue whales don't attack you, but the uh, sperm whales do. Just a bit surprised at this entry weight 15 and entry weight 0.5. Machine ID. Grid 1-4. Biome Equatorial at land. No, I don't want Equatorial. North Pole. Spawn Gentle Whale. Again, entry weight 0.5. Meanwhile, entry weight 15. Antarctica. That's a polar region as well. Gentle whale sea monster. 0.5. Gentle whale 0.5. Mean whale... Entry weight 8, with a desired maximum of 4. Okay, so it looks like I need to change that code. Interesting. Mm, server grid is the main project. Server template. There's no Antarctica in there, is there? And then that has the one that I want there. So that was polar. The polar region has minus 700, minus 700 with an entry rate of 15. Yeah. So, cancel out of that. I think I chose Central Tundra. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen Central Tundra. Yeah, that has no multiplier. Uh, you're going over to launch site, which... Okay, nice. Good luck. Let's zoom out. We zoom back in down here somewhere. So that's a Western Tundra. And it has an override in its thing. Override for the Western Tundra, which will, should give gentle whales. Actually has an override for mean whales. Really? I thought I looked at all of these earlier and it didn't have that. Central Tundra. It's got an override. Polar region does not have an override. Ah, right. Fine. We have that. Come into here. Okay. Save. Wrong button. Love to know what's going on with this bloody squids. Do we get our desert? The desert has the override for the squid. And the squid override, squid character, NPC offset 000, zero, zero. So it spawns in the middle of the map. Uh, NPCs to spawn percentage chance should be 100%. Force prevent spawn on ocean true. Okay, I'm guessing that's because it's got a Z of zero, but you don't want the force spawn outside of the ocean. Desired maximum four. And then when we look over here, Africa is basically the desert. There's no specific overrides. High desert, yeah, there's no specific overrides. Server templates. 
Let's have a look at the low desert. Yeah, that looks like identical. So, we go in here, we just go nuts. Uh, Tundra, edit it in here as well. Shouldn't be how it's minus two hundred NPCs to spawn. Percentage chance minus two hundred. Okay, save that. And this one minus two hundred for the offset. Just put that weird entry weight. Minus two hundred. Okay, weird weightings, weird weightings. Gosh, it's bloody hard to read it in there. Minus 200, minus 200, minus 200. Desired number 50. Is there another desired? 100% chance weight. 0.5 NPC spawn 100% entry weight so it's like yeah gentle whale gentle whale it's actually entry entered twice both of them have a half waiting and this one has an 8 times waiting which is weird and that's the mean whale Shut that one down. Okay, so that's exported once. Then we edit it, make it PNG. Save. Export again, because for some reason you have to do that. Although I'm wondering if you don't have to do that anymore. Don't need dolphin anymore. I should have kept that. We want the steam folder. Cluster, cluster, cluster. Right, let's see if I can spawn in 50 whales. That would be rather amusing. I'm actually wondering if I should have deleted the game data, actually. Probably should have. But it's not going to hurt. I can always exit and come back in, delete everything and start again. But if it takes the settings, that'll be nice. Freezing. Right. It's 
still don't know why there's a trade wind running straight through the middle of the map. Oh, actually. Hmm, actually, actually, actually. So that island there. Make sure I don't go too high and hit the ceiling here. Yeah, so you can see this line here running that way and this line running that way. I suspect that I'm facing that island. And these lines are actually the ship paths that have been put into the map. So when I actually come into here, you can actually see that there's a... Where are we? There we go. These are the ship paths that they actually put in. But they're not specified as what they really are. Although that one's meant trying to be a ghost ship. So that's meant to be a ghost ship, but it's showing a line. Which is interesting. Probably shouldn't be there. Oh, my character's actually taking damage. Infinite stats. Enemy invisible. True. Tundra open water. Oh, look at that. It's actually saying the right thing on the map now. Nice. Maybe something wasn't applied properly. That'd be rather amusing. Where's all the whales? Come on, it's supposed to be 50 of them. Yeah, slow mo 10, just let things spawn in. Hopefully, it's just that. Player, wipe the data. Try again. TP B two. Traveling to region A1. I hope you're not traveling to region A1. Alright, so the map has been wiped. We're back into the world. Those lines gone now. The inconsistency of the uh, editor is incredible. Yes, I know you're cold. We're trying to find the whales. Where are they? And the polar region seemed to work just fine. And this one, not so much. This 
get to the middle and see if we can do the uh, the trick that we did earlier. We're uh, not losing anything, yeah. It's all sitting where it should be. Shadow's that, that's just a shark shadow. So, ghost. Go down. Nice. Down, down, down. Whoa! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How did that work? I, I went under the ground, right? And there's creatures under the ground. Is that Z axis what's causing the troubles? It's causing all the whales to spawn under the actual ground template. Oh, there we go. And if I spyglass done. So there's a sperm whale, there's a sperm whale, there's a blue whale, certainly not 50 of them. There's fish down here, it's a bit weird. Uh, you found a dead guy with an inventory of stone, and you're going back to the base, fair enough. Inventory of stone sounds pretty useful. sperm whale so yeah you can see the sperm whale spawns but that's not the monstrous ones either though mind you that's just the the regular sperm whales I'm looking for monstrous creatures not uh, not regular ones North. We're going to want that way.
Time of day. Done. Still not seeing any whales. Well, any of the monstrous whales. Up we go. Not fifteen or five. Hmm. It's not good. Right. Slow mo one. We're going over to A two again, which will be west. Oop, didn't want to do that. If I can't get these to work, I might give up on it for the time being, and I'm going to go into my own single player. I'm going to test the Kraken fight with the ship that we're planning on taking in on official. Okay. Time of day. Done. Uh, let's get to the center of the map. Close now. What is that dirty big thing there? What on earth is that? It's like the island has been deformed. We're in the middle of the map. That shouldn't be there. It's a bit weird. It's only on the surface. Oh, that's going to be the billboard. Right. Oh no. I'll try to turn the billboard off. Billboard. Billboard is... You know, the billboard stuff's off. Weird. It's like the... Um, part of the desert from the new island has come through. In an inappropriate manner. Anyway. There we go. 
Oh. Sharks. Oh, there's a whale up there. Who are you? Uh, just regular blue whale. Swim around, maybe you'll catch sight of a uh, squid shadow. Another whale shadow. Oh, let's ghost it up. Go down. Do this weird trick one more time. Oh, it's a jellyfish down here. I feel like the ground level's a little bit off. I wonder if that's got something to do with it. Come on. We'll eventually get there. Oh, there we go. Alright, anything that looks like a squid. Doesn't appear to be anything at all. Uh, we're mostly to the middle. Let's go south. Speed things up once again. Uh, it's just a sperm whale. Normal blue whale. And yeah. I set the uh, the whale spawn to have a maximum of 50. There's certainly not that many of them here. You would expect them to have shown up by now. So be it. I will have to uh, see what other help I can get to fix that one up. We get rid of that. We get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yes. Serve grid. Serve grid. Saved. We delete that one. Keep. Make another copy of that. Oh, I didn't keep a copy of my profile, did I? No. Oh, we'll soon find out whether this is a problem or not. Keep that one open. Keep that one open. Close that one. We can pull that across there. 
Pop that back on. Oh, I don't want to delete the world. Play. I may need to force take all my stuff back. Or I could just have a black screen. Oh, there we go. Alright. It's got my ship. That's a good start. Okay. Looking good. Let's uh Single player anyway. Alright. So. We should have... Lots of food for the crew. We've got 600 cannonballs in there. Might actually take a few more out. We've got 1,000 cannonballs. Lots and lots of cannons. Got some forward facing cannons. Uh, so this ship is actually going to be the ship. Uh, well, it's very similar to the ship that's actually going into the Kraken fight on official. Uh, albeit that this one has been redone as a purely common ship. So all the cannons are common, all the planks, everything's common. And I'm going to basically go and have a play in the uh, Kraken fight right now. Um, where are we? We're over there. So, it's a short sail over to F4. And, because it's single player, we will set Ignore Wind. That will prevent us from being attacked by ships that are damned during the trip. And then we speed things up. Uh, and the other one... Sextant Buff. It's always the fun part about single player when you're testing all the codes that you can use. Why do we... Uh, should be under. Just under. Yeah, I need ten knots. I suppose the wind's pretty bad. And someone was actually saying that I should change. Uh, all of the sails are basically medium weight sails. Apparently they're a little bit overpowered at the moment with uh, how they apply weight and speed buff. Turn the ignore wind off. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, that's a good one. APZ NPC zone manager. Better not be the bloody Kraken grid that's causing that.
to help with the heat, um, you, basically your only option is cloth, really. Uh, when you're looking at the armor, uh, you have uh, hypothermic and hypothermic. The hyperthermal resistance is heat, and the hypothermal resistance is cold. And I believe the only armor that helps you with the cold is... Uh, oh, do I not have a bit of my thing? Um, yeah, the, the cloth is the only one that helps with the heat. And basically, your, your only other option is, um, uh, what is it, torpor. No, not torpor, fortitude. A decent fortitude. Um, I usually put about 30 fortitude in, especially once you get the equilibrium buff from your foods, you end up with 60 fortitude, and that helps a heap with uh, that sort of stuff. Go on that way. Let's go and see if the ship survived that. You have all your points in fortitude and you're still hot. That's interesting. Uh, you moved islands. Hang on, let's read this. You moved to one of the new big... Oh, right. Yeah, those new big islands are extra hot from what I remember. Um, I'm not even sure what you can do about that. So you've got 96 fortitude, is it? No ship. Oh, definitely went past it. Okay, what happens if I go through the grid without a ship? Okay, let me go through. So it's just deleted my ship. Now I know how everybody feels when they tell me about single player issues and uh, the ships getting deleted. Did I not take a backup of it? Oh, no, it's in the save files, right. My replica ship, so we delete that one. Make another copy. Pop that in. And we try again. Uh, you've been living on the new hot island, but I am only staying alive around 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm not surprised if it's still hot based on that. Um, not sure what you can really do, because what you, the only other way to cool down, I think, is to have ice boxes. But uh, to generate ice, you need to actually be in a cold region in the first place. So you'd be constantly doing trips to uh, cold regions to pick up ice, to bring back for your ice box, and that would allow you to live inside your buildings. But it um, won't allow you to live outside your buildings. But yeah, the only the only thing you could do, oh, I suppose there's some other parts of the armor. But when you when you have higher quality armors, you actually get uh, bonuses to the stats of the armor, and so you might need to have a look into the to that. I can't remember if you can upgrade. Actually, once I get into the single player. So that. Did I put a bed on here? I'm guessing I didn't. Let's pop a bed down if I. Oh, won't worry about that for the moment. Um, so. We grab. Steam. We grab armor. Cloth. Let's just grab. Cloth shirt. I need to spawn some armor in the game anyway. My thing. So if I grab something that's a reasonable quality item, I get a journeyman one. I can use it. So we can actually see here that the hypothermic insulation is 9.6 and the hypothermic is 15. So that hypothermic is the one that actually helps with the heat. And so you get a bit of insulation against that heat. Now I've only got um, bonus health, weight and stamina. And yeah, I can actually upgrade it. So... Uh, where's the time of day? Let's make it nice and bright. Okay. 
So I can actually just upgrade it in my inventory, can't I? So, fiber, hide. Oh, there's three different types of fibers and hides. Well, that's a pain. Um, and we can do this. I just pop that out of the way. What we do is we look for resources. Ba -ba -ba. Hide. Oh, the base, we want that one. For leather pelts, grab some fibers, bamboo, cotton, grab some hemp. Done. Yeah, I can upgrade it now. We we'll grab some coins. All right, so yeah, you get yourself a good quality item, and you should be able to upgrade it. And so, if I upgrade this, I then get the choice of what do I actually want to add my points into. And you can actually see here that I've been lucky enough with this particular item. I can actually add points to hypothermic insulation. Uh, it's not giving me too much. I mean, given this is only a journeyman item, you may get more points if it's a better one. So, like a masterwork legendary or mythic but yeah you can then dump the available points now there's actually 14 points that can actually go in here but yeah i've got an extra half a point of hypothermic insulation and so you could have a really decent set of cloth armor it will give you bonus stats to your resistance to heat and that might be one way you can actually uh, uh no you, you should be able to upgrade in in all the modes I've upgraded tools in on a server, so I know it exists. It was on PVE. Look at that. Now. Armor, 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 armor. What's going on? It's better. One of each, just give myself a stock standard armor. I'm trying to do everything stock standard to see how it behaves in the Kraken fight. There we go. Apply my sextance buff once again. Set ignore wind. Off we go. I think this time I'll take a backup of the game files uh, just before I cross into the Kraken's lair. Uh, you never crafted anything other than basic. Okay. No, it's definitely worth uh, having a look into the better stuff. They, um, there's all kinds of bonuses that you can actually get. There's like weight reduction buffs and all that kind of stuff you can get to your armor, which allow you to carry more things. And then obviously, as you're talking about, you know, it's too hot. Well yourself a really good quality set of cloth clothes and then upgrade them all so that you uh, have better hypothermic release resistance you can do the same with your tools you get good quality tools and you can actually level your tools up to have extra melee damage and stuff like that so they harvest more resources and things like that or you could add more durability to the tools so they last longer so yeah there's um there's a whole subsystem there that doesn't really get used a lot mainly because people don't have time to do it Far from the grid edge, am I? There's some weird stuff going on with those names. It's probably because I got the slow mo on. Let's just double check that. No, it is. It's 
The power stone text has defaulted to the center of the grid with all the rest of the junk. Interesting. Uh, that might be a good idea for a video. I had no idea that you could upgrade. Um, yeah, fair enough. That probably is actually a, a reasonable idea for a video. It's not something I'd even consider doing either. Ah, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Whew. Alright, so we're on the border. It's definitely the Kraken's Lair border. Nice. Thousand cannonballs in there. Alright. So we run the save world command. That saves everything into the folder ready to go. Before Kraken. Let's see if we get a uh, unreal engine crash again. Oh, I've got to turn that. Uh, off. Don't want the ship to be uh, ignored for the entire battle. It's going in. And it crashed. Uh, unknown function. So you just created a 4x4 four four map. Could not have done it without my help. Uh, thanks so much. That's alright. That's, um, I've been trying to fix somebody else's map for an hour at the start of the stream and I struggled with what was going on there. There's a whole thing around um, sub-levels and spawn overrides that I'm trying to understand and I haven't quite got my head around it. NPC Zone Manager. For some reason, something about NPCs are struggling with that. So we delete the local folder, copy the before Kraken, launch the game. Yes, hoping to actually do more of the uh, grid editing uh, videos. Uh, I'm, I want to, um, well, adding in the Kraken and things like that is actually particularly easy. So I need to do a video on adding the Kraken to a grid uh, that people might want to edit. Um, I need to obviously do the essence of power, even though it's identical to the um, power stones themselves for the voyage of power. Um, and then yeah, there's all this creature spawn override stuff. I'm actually going to have. I'm going to ask the developers if they can give me a list of how what the the stock standard stuff is to be overridden because um, yeah. The override stuff is weird when you read it. Alright, that worked out pretty good. We're back in the game, got everything I had before. So now... Cross the grid without the ship. That worked last time. Okay, we're in. Strange. Alright. So there's nothing wrong with the player character going through to the central moor. the grid again and it will probably crash. It's saying traveling to A1. Oh no it didn't crash. Nice. Looks like I have to personally load the grid. Yeah we're definitely in A4. Nice. Oh 
Look at all those cannons. Oh, there's 50 on the broadside with four cannons on either side at the front facing at a 45 degree angle. Actually, I should probably record this. We need to turn the ignore wind off, which is zero. Uh, I don't know if infinite stats are on my character. They are. So we turn that off. Done. Briefly just said I was in a trade wind, which is silly, because there should be a trade wind in the Kraken's lair. What's with all this text? Look at it all. Let's speed it up a little bit, get to where we're going. Oh, it does look like there's a trade wind running through the center of the bloody map. You can kind of see the swirl in the middle over there, just ahead, which is the Kraken. I don't know why there's a trade wind running through the middle of the map. Everything's so bloody buggy in single player. Like, there's a trade wind there by the looks of it. It runs all the way around the outside. It's not running through the guts of it. What? No, no, no. I don't want a portal. I want the Kraken. Gosh, that looks impressive, though. Look at that. I wonder if they changed it. Did they change it when you turn up to where the Kraken is? These pillars are now a thing that's part of the combat. Because I knew that the portal had little claws coming out of the ground. All of your power stone markers are stacked in A1. Uh... Possibly to do with the percentage markers that you have. Um, I'll be able to actually show it. <laughs> yeah. Open! Come on, fire! Right. It's on. Oh, look at all those things. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, I can see them. Look at them. Oh, it's not doing too much. So a little bit of splash damage. The wind is so bad at the moment. I'm fairly certain I turned single player settings off. I'm gonna have to check that. So I have four cannon bolts from a common cannon. I missed. Four cannons hit and kills. Okay. Sure. Let's just put my uh, sextant buff back on. At least be able to debug what's going on here. I'm guessing I shouldn't attack the tentacle straight away. If I wanted to hit. Yeah, no, it, it very much is. It's a, a replica of Rockwell. 
And Rockwell was a bit of a joke of a fight. I haven't seen any ships of the damned coming in yet. It's a bit surprising. Because there should be ships of the damned in this fight. I think bugger all damage from the uh, the explosions. Make sure that I've got all my settings right once I finish doing this. So the whole point of this is to test this ship out to make sure that when I actually go into the real Kraken fight on the PvE server that we're going to be alright. That missed. So we've got 888 cannonballs to go. I think I'll be okay. I think I've got to do this three times. I think you have to kill the tentacles three times. Bounced real hard just then. Come on, turn. Galleon is such a slow turn. I know that in the past I've actually shot the Um, the actual thing in the middle there. Come on, you silly thing. And... damaging it at the moment. Gotta get a better broadside. Come on. Before it wakes up. things
sails are taking damage. I don't know if I have a repair hammer. And the ships of the damned haven't turned up yet either. I'm wondering if they come in maybe like stage three or something. It's taking bugger all damage to the side walls there. I can see why people say they can do this with a decent schooner. Decent schooner with four cannons on the front. Imagine if there's cyclones coming in right now. Well, I actually hit that tentacle. So hitting a tentacle is not a good idea. It's getting stupidly dark. Yeah, I actually think I can leave it like that a little bit. There's a certain style to it. If I go all the way to the inside of this tentacle and let the outside cannons hit it. Still spinning. Didn't seem to do any damage, which was a little bit surprising. Oh, I thought those blue bolts were meant to disable your ship if you get hit by them. It doesn't seem to be doing that, which I'm a little bit surprised by. Close the sails. Alright, so there's ships of the dam, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Just getting bounced around like a balloon. Ah, there's the blue stuff. So that surely will disable the ship, right? I'm going to need to restock some uh, grenades. Not grenades, uh, cannonballs.
That's one way to uh, end the uh, combat. Everyone still on their sails? I think I've got handling sails. This wind is not going to work. Look at those ships that are damn trailing me. It's a good thing that uh, even with this crappy speed that I've got, it's fast enough to outrun them. just started with the lightning. It seemed to be like a delay with the imagery on it, which is a little bit strange. Now I know why I need the monkey that uh, they said that we were going to bring along. Taking a little bit of damage from that lightning. Oh, all those ships are damned. Probably going to need to have take them on. Although I suspect if it's anything like things like the uh, rock wall fight and all those other things, the number of creatures doesn't change. All right, they just keep spawning in and they keep a constant level of creatures that actually come into the battle. Oops, that wasn't the right one. That's kind of bounce music. So close. Alright, all cannons are on auto fire. few ships.
about 300 cannonballs left. Ah, health. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Which it bounced me again. Whoa. Oh, not too bad. It wasn't too nasty a bounce. Okay. All right, we've got to do the run. This is where having crew with you would make things a hell of a lot easier. Another thousand cannonballs. Yeah, it's pretty crazy at night time with the, uh, the way the lights flare everywhere. Thirteen hundred cannonballs. Is to take all the green text off. Come on. Boom. So that was 50% health, roughly, that I took it down to just now. So this one should take it to 75%. I've still got to do this and one more pass, at the very least. And that really depends on whether I've done enough damage. If I haven't done enough damage, then I'm going to need to do another pass again. At least the tentacles go down pretty quick. I don't want to get caught in that this time. can't reach it. I wonder if um, you could use like carbon fire and stuff like that to take out a tentacle. Because while you're waiting for that lightning, if you've got a handful of crew with you just shooting carbines at the tentacle, that might actually take it down. What damage are we talking like? I think the cannonballs hit for like 300 damage each. Double check on this next one. Almost 400 a damage per cannonball. Uh, do ballistas do more damage than cannons? Uh, I don't know. I haven't ever done ballisters on the Kraken fight. Now, I know that the ballisters are more effective against the uh, the eye in the middle. But yeah, when when you actually get to the phase where he goes underwater, um, 
there's that kind of a weird circular suspended eye thing. And I found that um, if you put a baluster on the front of the ship and you manually fire the baluster into that eyeball, it, uh, it did a tremendous amount of damage. But this is doing a broadside of 50 cannons, so the, the effect ends up being, I guess, the same. That's really annoying. Can't control the ship to tell the crew to fire. Come on, full stop. Oh, how did that miss? I didn't kill the tentacle. And I lost some crew. And I'm about to die myself. Die. I've got to not take any damage for a bit. Uh, which crew did I lose? Oh, it's the crew on the cannons on the front. So I'm going to need to go and replace the crew on my forward facing cannons. Because they died. I assume to splash damage and stuff like that. But yeah, that eyeball there. If you can land a solid hit, that's what actually uh, does a lot of damage. is real. I thought I got more than that off.
missing one. It's annoying. Chubby, how are you going? We need that fourth NPC on the bloody front cannon. Here's the crew I just took off. Oh, we have another one. Follow me. Come on. Why are you not coming? Ah, uh, not too bad. This is just practice. Where'd my NPC go? They didn't die, did they? Oh no, there they go. Yeah, I'm planning on doing the Kraken fight with my company. Um, we're going to be going in with a very small team and a single galleon, which is a replica of what I'm basically sailing right now. Uh, this is a common variant, whereas the one we've got is uh, a much higher quality. And so I thought, I'll come in and have a play around in single player, practice the fight. But it is a very demanding fight. And that NPC is actually not on the bloody thing. The lightning turned out nice that time, by the looks of it. Yeah, four common cannonballs takes down one tentacle. Hoping that the PvE server is the same as single player. So I turned the single player settings off, so it should be alright. And the fact that I don't have a monkey healing me is the other problem. Taken quite a fair bit of damage. One more tentacle, we get one more round. Is this going to be a lightning tentacle or not? You watch it, it'll just spawn in lightning right at the last moment. Kraken's face is pretty incredible. Of course it bloody did that, right? No warning. Will I get enough health out of this? Probably not. Hey, there we go. I didn't put a bet on the bloody galleon either, did I? Mm. Do -do 
Is my ship is there somewhere still? I can't see it. I know as soon as I enter into that boundary though, it's gonna spawn the boss. Oh yeah, there's my game. Oh. That was certainly an interesting one. The fact that it's actually almost 11 pm, it's probably a good place to finish it. I think the Kraken fight will be certainly doable. Like, I didn't have anything with me like a, a monkey for self healing. Uh, we're going to have at least four or five people on the ship. And so I was doing that all solo. Um, so if you had people repairing the ship, you had monkeys uh, for self-healing, because they do a self-healing buff on each of us. Um, yeah, I think it'll actually be quite doable. I mean, as long as you're healing up after you take that lightning damage, everything's going to be fine, right? And that lightning damage seems to be the most critical part of the entire battle. Obviously, you might lose some NPCs. Um, specifically, it was the NPCs on the top. If I go enemy invisible true. Let's see whether it spawns the Kraken or not. Yeah, fun stuff. We can do fun there. But yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole fight again. It's already late enough into the uh, stream as it is. But yes, uh, as I said, this is a, a single player replica of the actual ship, so I'm not particularly worried about what's going on in here at the moment. So we might actually just exit to the main menu. Rejoin Atlas on the PVE server. As long as it'll let me. Yeah, well, you know, the fact that I got the, the boss probably down under half its health solo and I didn't really prepare that well like the, the ship was common everything common ship common cannons common planks common decks common sails wasn't actually wearing any armor um yeah you can take med kits you can take all the rest of it you know for me that was just proving that uh, I still could do the uh, like I did the Kraken two years ago it's a long long time ago and even then, when I did it on single play, I'd mucked up some of my settings. Uh, central? Is our ship in Central? Here it is there. The question is, though, can you actually respawn on a bed into the Kraken fight? Do they actually allow that? Not sure if they do. I feel like it's a locked fight, but um, I don't know that for sure. And this is the actual ship. You know, it's all painted and nice and stuff. Spent quite a long time uh, painting this up. It's actually on one of the videos that should be on my channel. Uh, it looks like we still need to paint some of the sails. But um, the sails themselves are common sails. But we have journeyman decking. It should be yeah, masterwork. Looks like masterwork planks. And then... 
all of the cannons are about 160 damage except for the front ones because they were a very very late addition I haven't actually painted them and so the front cannons are only common cannons but as we were just seeing there in the the single player if four cannons is enough to take down one tentacle that's all you need we just have to replace these crew or keep these crew alive if they die I may need to turn my graphic settings down too for the fight because that was quite uh, like a lot of loss of frames Yeah. Alright, well, thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to call it there, mainly because it's uh, about 11pm. Get myself to bed, ready for uh, the next day. And hopefully the next time I'm on, I'm still trying to organise everybody to do it, but hopefully I'll get a video of the Kraken. That'll be fun. Alright, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.